Was this, was this your first time using the trainer? It was not, but I must say that I was extremely intimidated by it. Here comes this big machine on the paddle cord. I had no idea what to expect. All right, ladies, come on out. Let me get two on this side of the net, two over here with me. All right, ladies, welcome. All right, today we're gonna go over uh, our side back screens. So we've got the volley trainer out here with us today. All right, we'll have two on this side, two over here picking up. We'll rotate every couple of balls. Again, ask questions if you have any as we go through. I thought it was pretty cool, the ability to be hitting balls without having a pro shoot them at you. Good, set your feet. Be ready, Robin. Good, that's the ball we're talking about where once we see a drive might be coming in. Um, I also thought it was pretty user friendly. At first we were a little intimidated, the robot machine. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit returns from the do side. Yep. So all you have to do, you have six seconds in between each serve. Okay. okay, you're just gonna hit play, put the phone right on the side. I didn't even realize that it was all um, based on an app. And so you didn't even have to touch the machine so much. It seemed like our pro could do a lot from his phone. Good. What's helpful with the trainer is that the ball is being, you know, fed to us where he can visually see it and correct us. It is nice to have Blake next to you, kind of showing you exactly positioning, where, you know, where, how you should be holding the paddle, things like that, versus him kind of focused on feeding balls and on the other side of the court. It, it's nice to have him, you know, in the mix of the play. All right, those who are on the dots, I want you guys to see the position of the players at net. So once Val gets pushed out wide, okay, we want to see Aaron sliding over and looking to cover. Uh, well, I like that you can work on different shots. You can work on corner screens or law. You can work on the lobs. You can work on return of serve, particularly. That's something I feel like we could never get enough work on, return of serve. And this is a, a tool that we could use to really work on that shot, which is such an important shot. All the way down. Yep, keep going. Good, set. So the video capture, the interesting part about it is I am now able to capture those videos, send them to the group or individual that came out for the lesson, and they can learn from that. Although it might be hard to watch how I play, I think it would be very useful because you can see the things that the pros are correcting you on in real time. You actually see the mistakes that you're making. You know, they can give you feedback and it'll help you understand and improve your overall play. I would definitely use it. I mean, it looks intimidating at first, but I think once you get the hang of it, it was really easy, easy to use. After today, it really did make me feel even more comfortable. I tried it a month ago and I really liked it, but I still felt a limit, little intimidated. But Blake did a great job explaining it to us and also the software that comes with it. And we can adjust it to any level. So I would feel very comfortable using it. In fact, I'm definitely gonna use it. I need a lot of work on my game.